What's up guys? This is Pokegen TV and today I'm going to show you how to get PK Hex save file systems into on the computer from your DS. This is the second time I've done this. Um I haven't really I haven't really um done it. I only done it on one of them, so I'm doing one on the other and this one I haven't finished it yet, so I'm going to finish. So what you do, of course you have to turn on the computer. It's dying, but <laughs> but um uh so you take you take your you go you turn on the DS it, and let's see I'm gonna do it this way and if you have that if you, if you have homebrew already on it that is good if you don't have homebrew I would recommend getting a 3DS online that's at least 11.3 firmware so you can hack it to into homebrew. Um, it's very difficult get, I, or I don't even think it's possible getting, trying to get homebrew on a 11.6 already. This is 11.6, but I got it from 11.3 firmware to 11.6. And I'm not trying to be complicated with that, but, <laughs> but, um, so basically once, if you have a hacked 3DS, what you want to do is download an app, uh, it's called JK... JK saves I think JK saves and it has a little picture like this and you want to click on it right here JKSV I think that's what it is I'm sorry JKSV and what you have to do once it loads up is since you have your for example I want to do Pokemon Gold so I get po the Pokemon Gold CIA that I downloaded from the eShop and, and say I want to use it save well, you click on SDCIA, and then you gotta refer you have to click on it first, but it won't show up in the be beginning. So you have to um, refresh games. Then go to SDCIA and see if you if it's on there. There's my Pokemon Gold. So I click on that. And I'll say save data options, um, export save, and then I I name it like gold or let's let me put just gold down there because that's all I can think of since it's the Pokemon Gold video game. So I put down gold and I hit start, and it says complete. So now what you want to do is turn off your 3DS system. Wait till the whole thing disappears. If it will disappear, it usually takes a while with my DS. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my SD card out. So let's see, hold on a second. So I take in my SD and putting it in my computer. I have an SD reader. If y'all don't have an SD reader, you're gonna have to buy a separate one, but if you have SD reader, great. So um, now what I do is see my my files set up on my F this floppy drive. That's my SD card. So now I go into PK Hex. I'm gonna go on PK Hex from my downloads file and just load it up from here and run. Okay, so wait hold the front door um I don't know where I guess I'll just I don't know where I got that Gyarados from but <laughs> but um what you do is you open you click open yeah that was that's what was from my silver game I'm sorry I did um but um you go to um you go to the you go to computer and see, it's the I, I, you may have a different name for your flop, for your SD card, but mine's this one. So I click it, and then I go to JKSV, and then I click on. Here, I'm gonna make it a little bit closer for you. I click on saves, um, and then I click on Pokemon Gold. Sorry that I'm wiggling the phone real, a little bit. It's because I don't have a, really a stand for it. But um, now you see save.dat. You click that, which is what you do. It's a dat file. And let's see, where is it taking me now? 
Um, okay, yes, right here. And this is my this is this is my character's name. You can you can do it anything you want to with it. You can get money, infinite money, and that's your trainer ID. All you can get all the badges, and you can just edit your Pokemon save file as as long as you want. And let's see. So I I did that, and I'm gonna click save. And items you can get any items you want. Like okay, say you want all the TM items, you put give all all there's your all your TM items and and the same thing with uh, this but I'm, I'm not gonna get any um, items from that because I want to keep that saved and there's your master balls you can get edit your master balls and stuff and and this is this is this is really good if for those people who want to do the coin case glitch I just edit my my items to the items I want in the mount number so that, therefore I don't have to keep buying them on the game but I think that was just an easier method to do so you can get any Pokemon or whatever you can also get any Pokemon from the PK Hex save file but I rather do do it from the game because it it's more safer when it comes to like you know uh, transferring it to Sun and Moon so I don't have to deal with the effects of you know making it up known up known met location and stuff so um, so that's pretty much it so now what you want to do is go I'm sorry my my dad's hollering and he's being a pain I'm sorry but what you want to do is is click export save and then export to main and you click what am I doing what in earth am I doing this gold so I want to I want to go to all files and then click this and then click save do you want, they already, yeah, of course I want to replace it, and I got that replaced. Now, I take my SD card out of the computer and put it on my 3DS. And let's see, open it up. Now what you need to do is just like any other save manager program, you go back to JK Save Manager, which this will when it loads up, and you click on it. And you go to SDCIA, and then go to Pokemon Gold. I can also do this with my crystal, but I'll do that my own pace. Um, Pokemon Go and then save data options and import save this time. You were exporting your save but now you're importing your save. So click that and click gold. It says fully restore Pokemon Gold. Click A. Yes. And that's basically it. Now you can go to your game and see if the effect has happened. Oh, where's gold? There's gold. So I'm loading up gold. I haven't. I usually don't go on this game that much. I go on my silver. That's. I'm doing a lot of things on my Pokemon Silver, and it's on my other DS. So, so click continue, and let's see if we had the items that we need. The TMs. I think I edit TMs. So let's see. Okay, so that's that. Oh. Did I forget to click save? <laughs> well, basically, that's pretty much it. You post to, you post to get all ten. I think I forgot to hit save since I was distracted, but that's pretty much how you do it. And I apologize for not getting all the TMs on there, but I guess I forgot to click the save the thing. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you use JK Save Manager. That's how you edit your saves. I have it on my Pokemon Silver, but. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn from it. Um, I obviously made a mistake about it, but I apologize for it. But thanks, thanks for watching. Enjoy.